Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Facebook ad series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll show you how to give user access in Facebook ads. So without further ado, let's get started. So for giving the access to Facebook ads or business manager, I need to come to the business manager section. So you can see over here, currently we are in the business settings portion. So in the user section, we have three options available here. One is people, next one is partners, and the last one is system users. So those two uh, people and partners are used most for giving or taking the access, you know? So first one is basically if you are a single freelancer or if you are working with a single client, or if you don't manage any teams, then you can use people for giving or taking the access. And the partner is basically used for if you're an agency or working with an agency, or if you manage multiple teams, then you can consider partners for giving or taking the access, you know? So for example, I want to give the access to someone. So I'm gonna choose people and I'll click on add people. Okay, then I will enter his or her email address over here, okay? So you can see over here, I'm putting the email address over here. Okay, then I will click on next and I'll choose full control. Okay, so he can manage everything from here. So I'm gonna click on next and I need to select the assets that I want to share with those specific users, you know. So you have different options available here. Like if you want to give him the access to your uh, Facebook business page, then you can choose the business page from here. And if you want to give the partial access, then you can choose any of these options like contents, community activity, messages, ads, inside revenue leads. Or if you want to select all of them, uh, then you can choose this option, partial access, business tools, and Facebook. Or if you want to give him the full control, like he can do everything, then you can choose everything, okay? Then if you want to give the ad account access, then you can select the ad account and give the partial access or full control, you know. Next one is if you want to give the uh, catalog access, then you can choose catalogs from here. So currently I don't have any catalog. So if you have catalog, then you can select the catalog from here and give him the access. And if you have any apps, then you can choose the apps and give the access, you know. Similarly, if you have Pixel, so you can choose any of the pixels from here. And if you want to give the partial access or if you want to give the full control, then you can choose manage pixel from here. Or if you have a Instagram account and you want to share your Instagram account with the specific users, you can do it as well. Or if you want to give the access to your commerce account or data sets, you can do it from here as well. So for the time being, I'll be choosing those three assets called Pays, Ad Accounts, and Pixel. So I'm gonna click on Invite. So he'll be uh, notified by his email, you know? So let's go to the email and see whether we have got the email invitation or not, okay? So let's refresh the screen. Just wait a little bit. So you can see over here in the social section, I have an invitation from Facebook. DM Farhad has invited you to work on their business on Facebook. So this uh, this business manager uh, name is DM Farhad. That's why it is showing DM Farhad. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this and accept the invitation. So for accepting, you just need to click on get started. then you need to click on continue with this account you know then you can see over here you have been given access to dm for hud okay so you just need to give uh, a name like i'm giving my name okay so i'll click on continue then you can see over here the uh, business manager verified status page information so you need to click on continue and you need to click on accept invitation so if you want you can read them you know i'm gonna click on accept invitation then i need to provide the login info then i'm gonna click on submit 
So you can see over here, it looks like you're already in the business account. You can access it by logging into your business. So I have already added to this account. That's why it is showing uh, this sort of error. Okay. So if you are new, then you will not uh, show this error. Okay. So this is how we can give the access using uh, people. So let's come to the partner section. Okay. So for giving the partner or taking the partner access, you just need to click on add. Then if you want to give a partner access to your asset, then you can choose the first option. Or you, if you want to ask a partner to share their assets, then you can choose the second option. So I'm going to choose the first option. Okay. Then uh, you need to give the partner business ID. Like I'm giving uh, this account partner ID. So you can get the business manager ID from the URL section or if you go to the business info section then you will see the business manager id from here okay so i'm going to copy it from here and paste it over here and i'll click on next then you need to select the assets from here like i want to uh, give my facebook business manager access then Add account access, full control, page access, then full control. Okay. For example, I want to share those two access. Then I'm going to click on save changes, you know. And you can see over here, asset added. One page and one ad account have been added to the business manager. Okay. So you can see over here. So it has been added. Okay. Perfect. So if you want to take the access uh, from a partner, then you can click on this uh, option, ask a partner to share their assets. Okay, so I'm gonna click on get started. Then you need to give the contact name, contact email address and business account ID, you know. So contact name is, for example, this one, contact email address is, for example, this one and business manager id is this one okay so i'm gonna copy it from here and paste it over here okay then partnership information your business role uh, i'm gonna choose media agency and the partner role should be brand or business okay then i can click on next request asset types okay so you can see over here so i'm gonna be choosing everything from here and add account everything okay pgl everything so i'll click on confirm and review okay then you can see over here if you want you can send a message like uh give me the partner request give me the partner request okay then if i click on send then you can see new partner request has been sent okay so if he accepts then uh, you have the access of his or her or this agency those specific agency access to your business manager then you can work uh, for their business manager you know so yeah that is how you can uh, take the access or give the access to your users, you know. And the last one is system users. So let's get to know more about system users. So we have come to the official documentation of Facebook for learning more about system users. So you can see over here, system users represent servers or softwares that make API calls to assets owned or managed by a business manager. There are two types of system users admin system user an admin system user can create system user add account assign permission and more and next one is regular system user regular system users can only access the assets they have permission for create one system user for each type of access you need give system user access to asset and use them for most api calls use the admin system user to maintain the right rules programmatically that way, if a system user token is 
compromised it is limited scope and cannot compromise more permission limit using admin system user for administrative actions such as assigning permission as it has the most permission carefully safeguard the admin uh, system user token okay so if you want to learn more about system user you can click on add system user uh, to your business manager developer documentation system users in business manager so hopefully you have understood about system users so yeah that's it for this video hopefully you have a clear understanding on how we can give access uh, to our business manager or how we can take access from uh, uh, other agencies or other partners to our business manager yeah uh, if you like our video then you can subscribe our channel follow our page have a good day bye bye